Hey everyone, hello and welcome back to maybe a game a day. This is episode 140 and today we're having Championship Manager 5. The game that you cannot get anywhere. Like I, I try to get it, I don't have it and you just cannot buy this game anywhere so we have to borrow this. Uh, Championship Manager 5 developed by Beautiful Game Studios and published of course by Eidos just like I believe every other Championship Manager. Um, released in 2005 for Windows, Xbox and PS2 I believe, yeah PS2 uh, and you know what, I was never a fan of Championship Manager games, especially these newer, I'm, I'm gonna say newer because we had all of these 1, 2, 3 and 4s and 93s, 94s, like all of these older ones, they were good, they started something and they, they were great, um, but these new ones they had a lot of bugs and you know this one was supposed to deliver in 2004 but they delivered this game late it was like the middle of 2005 and i don't know i don't know what happened but the games were too buggy and you know the rival you know the, the game that started from these games the, the football manager they were so good like the football manager 2005 was pretty pretty awesome um this one looks similar to that one i mean you're gonna see this looks pretty similar to football manager and i don't know i I'm, I'm just gonna say this right away football manager is the best manager game ever and it's still going on you have 2023 version which is awesome i didn't play it i i stopped at 2022 so i have to play this new one yet and i will i'm gonna just skip over this creation of, of the, the league so we have manchester city which honestly I hate, I don't like the club, I'm an Arsenal fan, you probably, if you watch the channel, you know it, you know that I always choose Arsenal, but when I play these manager games, I never ever chose Arsenal in my life. I always like to play with some older clubs, some um, lower league clubs, like Eastburn Borough is my club, and I play with that club, you know, every single time I play FM, um, lately I started playing like you you can download the data and you can play with like a 14 level club which is London Gorillas and I play with that club and that's so cool like you play like 14th league and you just try to go up and up and up to the 10th level and then you can play FA Cup and, and it's all going crazy and I know maybe that sounds ridiculous to you guys but that's just how I like to play you know with zero budgets zero everything no stadium like I, I like I like my game to be really hard when I play football manager or any manager of that kind so that's how I like it so we can see this as you can see the championship manager looks pretty damn similar to football manager um, and it's pretty you know they have a good reason because those games were won and then football manager developers they they wanted to make a game for themselves and it was it was so good like I remember 2005 and that one was perfect um, but this one when it released it had a lot of bugs and I think there was a day one patch even for this game that was uh, published by the, the developer and the game was unplayable and it was and the later games too they were too unplayable I have some and we're gonna hopefully have those games on the channel and you will see this is just gonna be I'm gonna skip around show you different menus show you like um, a, how the game looks uh, show you like how the club screen works and looks like you can see right now um, but I can only say that these games well you know I, I don't like to say that the game is bad but you know when the game has a lot of bugs and the users are really complaining and nothing works like it should work well then it's a bad game right and of course it's up to developer to maybe fix that game or you know release a patch or a mod or something that's gonna fix the game and if they do that's great that's respect and I like that but if they don't you know that that's a bad thing and no one's gonna play the game and you probably if you're a gamer and you play you know new games and stuff you know that like in the last few years the game the games they release you know like half done and buggy and glitchy and I don't know and it's it's something that's pretty pretty common these days back in the day that wasn't that common and you, you get the game when you get the DLCs you get uh, everything and it, it was so cool so this is the training screen and 
not much to do like you can you can this is like FIFA manager stuff you can do like whatever you want to do with every single player like you can do a coach you can get a coach that's gonna do all of this for you of course and I always did that like I never ever you know did anything with the training so like any drills any things that your players want to learn they're gonna learn to my assistant manager or to my coach or I never liked to to meddle with the training screens and that was the case with all of these older games too um, I just like um, when you have a lot of options and when you have an option to delegate anything to your assistant manager or your coach or whatever so you know that's something that was there I would say from the beginning and that's so good because there's you know so someone doesn't like to meddle with the transfers I mean I like I, I love to meddle with the transfers and I always did but you know maybe there's someone who doesn't like that and that's okay I mean you can't tell the people what they're gonna like or not so that's that's what I always liked with these manager games you have you had that in FIFA manager too you have that in championship manager and you have that of course in football manager this is the team screen where you have all of your uh, you should have all of your players up here uh, they should show but I don't know why they're not showing you have your formations you have tactics you have everything everything you need to make your team win the game right and back in the day this was like a long time ago like 18 years ago nothing changed on on this screen like this screen was pretty much similar to what it looks now like you can you can choose your players you can choose your formation you can choose your tactics you can choose like attacking defending motions and that's it there's you know not much that you can change or add or right so this always looked pretty cool you can you can put your player wherever you want on a field and that's it you know like nothing more nothing less the, the game screens that changed like I, I think football manager uh, had 2d screen well I believe up until 2017 or 2018 right I don't remember what time they introduced the 3d but FIFA manager had 3d like from the beginning and from two, uh, 2006 so you know but they didn't have some other options which football manager had and you know you're not gonna have everything in one game at all times and that's pretty normal and the competition is good but right now we don't have any competition championship manager is done FIFA manager is done and I believe we now only have football manager no competition they're the only awesome football manager game on the you know, on the market so this is the way that we can tell the player he's gonna run when we're attacking you're gonna run forward and that was also in football manager which released about at the same time or maybe even earlier because this one released around start of 2005 but the football manager 2005 he released if I remember and I'm not sure at the end of 2004 just like you know every other football game um, so football manager was a little bit earlier on the scene than this one and the football manager was better I know I was there I played both games um, but that was you know different time than, than today um, and football games were pretty simple and every game had something this game had bugs and <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything else uh, I don't want you know this video is not about trashing the championship manager 5 not at all um, of course as I said I respect every game and developers they put time in this um, and you know we're not gonna say that the game is bad so this is the game screen where we play Torquay United against Manchester City and the game can choose I mean the assistant manager can choose your outfield team and your tactics if you don't want to meddle with that and I know there were some guys that probably don't like that but why play manager game if you don't want to meddle with the tactics right so this this is like a 2d but it's it's somehow 3d maybe 2.5d <laughs> if that exists um, but yeah this looked much better than the football manager and it, it was better it looked better but 
The football manager screen, which was 2D, I don't know, it just had something, oh, that, that's goal for Toki. It just had something that, I don't know, just was so cool about it, and it was so simple and worked so well, and I don't know, I'm just gonna say that, you know, you can probably hear that I was a football manager fan at the time, and I still am, right? So we're gonna speed this up, nothing interesting happened. Um, as I said, this is just a show-off video of the game. Uh, we're gonna finish this game and we're gonna end the video as I'm really, really tight on schedule. So, Torki <laughs> played better this game and that's 2-0 for Torki. And <laughs> I would never, ever choose Manchester City as my club and I want you to know that. So if there's any Manchester City fans on the channel, I'm so sorry, but I'm not a fan. I'm an Arsenal fan, and it's 2023, and the two clubs, they battled for the first place whole season, and now the City's gonna be first, and I'm kinda mad, and angry about it, and sad too, but also so happy that Arsenal's finally second, and we're gonna go to Champions League, and that makes me so freaking happy, and... That's all I'm gonna say. So the game was done, this is the after match screen, and that's it. That's Championship Manager 5. It was pretty, pretty fast video, pretty, you know, not over the top. And I'm sorry about that, but that's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna say thank you guys for watching this one. If you liked it, leave a like. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike. Subscribe to the channel, and of course, come back tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna have, well, I have no idea what we're gonna have. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a surprise for you and for me too. And hopefully we're gonna have something pretty interesting, as I, I have no idea. I'm playing Resident Evil Zero at the moment and I'm losing a lot of time on that. Um, but in the next few days I'm not gonna have time for that too, so we'll see. Stay tuned, as I said, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm really having fun and I hope you do too. So after I finish this, I will probably try to find seven games for the next week. And hopefully they're gonna be the games that you guys are gonna like. So thank you again and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow in the next one. Bye bye.